Um, I don't have any preference, so it's up to it's up to your clients. If they want to. She wants to be here for the jury. Are we not letting the press in, or what's the purpose of this moment? I assumed everybody was already in. You can go ahead and let them in. Chris Palmer is explaining something. Oh, he's just going through the guidelines. Okay. Thank you. And just to verify with the. Uh, Court TV and with the AP reporter, if you or the AP photographer, if you could let me, if you could listen to me for just a minute, um, no, I mean I, I know this goes without saying, but no pictures of the jury. Thank you. And we're. They're just being briefed right now. I think we've got everyone in here that wants to come in. If you could be seated, and I'd like to just say a few things before we call the jury in. There is a verdict in the case. I think you've all been told that. Um, when the, before the jury enters, I just want to say a few things that I say in every case. Um, the court appreciates that this has been a long and difficult trial for the parties and their counsel and that emotions may be running high. The court reminds everyone that there should be no outward reaction when the verdict is read. And that these proceedings are not over until the court has been adjourned. Most importantly, and regardless of the verdict, the jury has sacrificed more than eight days of their time to serve, and they are entitled to be shown the same courtesy and respect that they have been shown throughout these proceedings. I want to remind the people that are all here that uh, there are uh, strict orders that are in place concerning the use of phones, uh, cameras, recording devices. Unless you've been approved, and there are only two people in here that have been approved for capturing anything by, by video, by audio, or by still, uh, you should not use your cell phone or any other device that might capture those things. Thank you. Ready for the jury? And I have been impressed with how well everyone has been 
throughout this proceeding. So thank you all. For those that are arriving late, there's no use in any recording devices at all. Thank you. For the record, uh, the jury is now in the courtroom and the parties are present with their attorneys. Uh, would the four person that the jury has selected please stand and state your number? Uh, number 19. Thank you. Has the jury reached a verdict? Yeah. Will you please hand it to the bailiff and the bailiff will bring it to me? Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. We'll now have the clerk read the verdict. Who can just read the question and the answer? Okay, great. Was Gwyneth Paltrow at fault? No. Was Gwyneth Paltrow's fault a cause of Terry Sanderson's harm? Oh, no. that. There's just no response there. Okay. Was Terry Sanderson at fault? Yes. Was Terry Sanderson's fault a cause Gwyneth Paltrow's did um, did Terry Sanderson's fault cause Gwyneth Paltrow's harm? Yes. Comparative fault. What percent of the fault do you assign to Terry Sanderson? One hundred percent. Damages. What amount fairly com compensates Gwyneth Paltrow for economic damages? One dollar. Signed March 30th, 2023. Thank you. So to, to juror number 19, the four person, is this your verdict? Yes, sir. Thank you. And the attorneys have asked that I poll the jury, and I, so I need to ask each one of you if this is your verdict. This is not an unusual thing to happen. It happens quite often. So number 16, is this your verdict? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Number 11, is this your verdict? Yes, Your Honor. Number 8, is this your verdict? Yes, Your Honor. Number 2, is this your verdict? Yes, Your Honor. I've already covered number 19. Uh, number 28, is this your verdict? Yes, Your Honor. Number 29, is this your verdict? Yes, Your Honor. And number 32, is this your verdict? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. 
So to the attorneys, is there anything further before I discharge the jury? Nothing for the plaintiff. No, thank you, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you. Let me just read you the last jury instruction. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this trial is finished. Thank you for your service. The American system of justice relies on your time and your sound judgment, and you have been generous with both. You serve justice by your fair and impartial decision. I hope you found the experience rewarding. You may now talk about this case with anyone you like. You may be contacted by the press or by the lawyers. You do not have to talk to them or with anyone else, but you may. The choice is entirely yours. I turn now to the lawyers and to the press and ask them to honor your wishes if you say that you do not want to talk about the case. If you do decide to talk about the case, Please respect the privacy of, the, of your fellow jurors. The, the confidences that they may have shared with you while deliberating are not yours to share with others. Again, thank you for your service. You may now retire. And if everybody else would please remain here, we've got some things to do. All right. may be seated. So uh, I've got a few things I'm going to do with the parties, and then I'm going to ask everyone who's still in the courtroom at that point to remain seated while the parties leave. So anyone who wants to be outside when the parties leave, please do that now. So Mr. Owens, I'm looking to you to prepare a judgment on the jury verdict. Will you do that? Yes. Okay. Mr. Sykes, is there anything further uh, for the court before the court adjourns? No, my, my client just wants to say thank you to your honor for the effort you made to. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Owens, is there anything further from the defense before the court adjourns? No, thank you, Judge, and to all your staff and the bailiffs. Let me just comment that I appreciate the professionalism that all the attorneys have shown and the parties, so thank you. This court is now adjourned. Thank you. Let my client slip out before? Uh, yes, everyone remain seated while the parties leave. I'm going to make a quick statement. Ms. Paltrow is not going to be making a statement today. So you can make the statement outside, Mr. Owens. I will do that. Okay. Thank you.